Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We're still in North Rollton. And here's our next down. And it looks like, uh, I'm not sure with the name, but they died February the 23rd. It looks like 1867 on the one side. And then Sarah, it looks like, or Sabrina or something on the other side. It's the wife of whoever he is. Anyways, she died, I want to say November the 30th, 1873, but I wouldn't swear to it. But there it is. Then you have this neat old stone. That's a good looking old stone. You have David, born March the 2nd, 1801, died July the 26th, 1875. And Lois, his wife, born November the 4th, 1803, died April the 6th, 1861. Then you have Sarah, born January the 11th, 1825, died February the 12th, I want to say 1893. And that stone is leaning pretty bad. And this side I can't see, guys. There it is. All right, let's go on. I do apologize about the wind and the shaking. I can't do anything about either one. All I can do is apologize for them. That's all I can do. Here we have this stone. We have, I can't see it to read it, guys. But there it is. And here's the other side. It looks like someone was born in 1777 and died October the 2nd, 1822. I think it's a Benjamin. No, that was a Lydia. Benjamin was born February the 10th, 1775, died July the 2nd. It looks like 1841. And then Mary at the bottom, it looks like she was, she died November the 15th, 1885 at the age of 17 years and eight months is what I see on that stone. Then we have this stone. And somebody, I can't tell who, died in 1863 on that one. All right. So let's get over here and we'll get to going. Here we have a Mabel. Died. I mean, born 1892. Died in 1960. And then we have... I'm not sure what the name. It's the wife of somebody. She died September the 1st, 1851. See the little teddy bear somebody went around and put it around there? That is cool. And here's somebody died. May the 28th, 1833. Then here's somebody else. This is going to be a Nancy, wife of Salas, I think. And she died in 1862. I want to say on that one. Then we have Furland, 1870 to 1942. Mary Myers, 1870 to 1923. And Bernice, born June the 24th, 1909, died May the 6th, 1931. Then we have this beautiful stone right here, and that's going to belong to the Johnsons, and that's going to be right here. I'm not sure what the name, but she's 1785 to 1868, and David, 1782 to 1860. Very nice, beautiful stone. All right. Right here, and that's going to be these people right here. It's going to be Margaret, 1860 to 1942. William, 1865 to 1927. Hazel, 1901 to 1962. And Edward, 1895 to 1964. All right, that's we done, ma'am. All right, so we're right here. Richard, February 23rd, 1965 to September 21st, 1981. William, or Wilma, I mean, 8, 1933 to 
Then we have Mary, 1842 to 1927, and John, 1844 to 1931. Then we have Emma, 1872 to 1961, and Fred, 1867 to 1940. We have Carl, he was in World War I, December the 3rd. 1894 to December 11th, 1931. We have Richard, 1897 to 1977. We have William, 1878 to 1933. And Anna, 1875 to 1960. Then we have Anna, 1873 to 1928. We have a Walter Clemens, 1893 to 1959. And Ethel, 1896 to 1972. All right. Then we have Lola, 1875 to 1966, and Jay, 1870 to 1948. We have a James, August 4th, 1857 to June the 9th, 1937. Uh, I'm not sure on the name. 1839 to 1931. And let's see. We have Esther, 1907 to 2008, and Charles, 1880 to 1970. Alta, 1885 to 1924. Then we have, I'm not sure, 1875 to 1929. And Estella, 1878 to 1848. We have Elizabeth Hammer, 1869 to 1936. And William Redding, 1890. 1960. And I'm not sure of the name. 1894 to 1985. And we ain't gonna be able to see that stone. So what it takes us to here. We have James, 1874 to 1942. Uh not sure on the name. 1910 to 1990. And 1913 to 2004. Then we have Lois, 1901 to 1989, and Violet, 1903 to 1986. Then we have Irene Bowman, Bowman, 1900 to 1989. I wish they had them all turned one way, but they're back and forth. William, 1875 to 1945, Henry. 1900 it says he's still alive then we have mother Nat natalie 1900 to 1962 and waggard christine uh 1868 to 1959 adam 1861 to 1945 and i'm not sure of the name 1907 to 1976 francis 1883 to 1956. Then we have right here uh, Dorian, I think, 1813 to 1888, and Joanna, 1815 to 1887. Then we have Roy, U.S. Army in Korea. February the 2nd, 1930, to February the 23rd, 2006. Then we have this stone right here. And it's going to be Anna, the wife of W.M., died April the 28th, 1890, at the age of 33 years and 9 months. Then we have William, 1873 to 1950. And Bertha, 1880 to 1955. We have Florence, 1896 to 1974. And Lawrence, 1904 to 2003. And I might have read them already. I'm not sure. We have Raymond, 1898 to 1990. And his wife, 1914, it says she's still alive. We have Bernice, February 23rd, 1892 to... July the 18th, 1948, and Frank, 
August 25th, 1882 to October the 31st, 1970. Then we have John, August 14th, 1853 to August 27th, 1942, his wife. December 29th, 1847 to March 25th, 1914. Then we have Peter, I'm just going to say Peter, Private First Class, World War II, December the... 17th, 1918 to August 23rd, 2005. Dorothy, his wife, April the 10th, 1925 to September the 24th, 2005. And if I repeated any of these and reread them, guys, I do apologize. It's just the way it's laid out in the cemetery. It's hard to tell where you're at. And this one's going to be right here. It is very hard in this cemetery. Because they have got half rows and they got full rows. And it's crazy. But anyways, we'll move on. I have a Vaughn grave i got to go back and find. The guy was 111. This is 111 years old. So I'm going to be going back and refining his. Here we have Harry. He was a Tech 5 in the U.S. Army, World War II. June 21st, 1925 to November 20th, 2012. Then we have James. Looks like 1892 to 1922. Elizabeth, 1854 to, I want to say 1936. And Lottie, 1877 to 1891. And Ralph, 1898 to 1899, I think it says. I'm not sure. i just tell you what I see. All right. Edwin. 1897 to 1954, he was a Mason. Then we have Doris, 1915 to 1974. Then we have Herbert, August 18th, 1938. And Catherine, July the 1st, 1956 to October the 9th, 2008. Then we have Anton. 1871 to 1942, Angus, 1880 to 1954, and Edward, 1907 to 1972. And this stone, I like this one. It's cool looking. We have the wife of James, and she died, I want to say 1863, December. And her name's going to be Sarah. Then we have James, No, he died November the 11th. 1906 the age of 74 years and that's all that's on that stone all right now that takes us back to hopefully we can get straight up here Let's see. we have a william 1867 to 1942 and a mary 1873 to 1955. all right and we're see yeah we'll go ahead and get this Oh, Ola, or Oga, 1896 to 1967, and Frank, 1886 to 1951, he was a Mason. Then we have Margaret, 1863 to 1936, and Otto, 1859 to 1933. Uh, we ain't going to see the top half, but we're going to see William Jr., 1921 to 1923, and Francis, 1899 to 1972 on this stone. That's about all you're going to be able to make out. All right. I ain't going to do that one. Starting to get in the mix, I look. It looks like. William, 1862 to 1951, and Martha, 1867 to 1939. Then we have Ford, 1890 to 1914. Then we have our baby girl, Whitney, Dawn, June the 25th, 1987. Then we have Rose, 1882 to 1967, and Spike, 1876 to 1968. Then we have Norman, 1905 to, to 1978. 
Uh, this one's leaning bad. Whoa, that one's leaning bad. Then we have Lois, October the 21st, 1919 to December the 28th, 1999. And Johnny, October the 3rd, 1920 to January the 5th, 2006. If someone was buried that reason, you would have thought they'd have leveled that stone. But they didn't. That's a shame. It's going to flip over. Anyways, we're up to here. Looks like Thomas, 1857 to 1901. And Natalie, I think it is, his wife, 1870 to 1898. And Eugene, I think. 1898 to 1900, I think, is on that one. That's what I see. And that's all that's on that one. I'll go ahead and get this one. It's going to be Stella, the wife of uh, Louis, Louis, 1893 to 1916. And Louis, 1883 to 1951. Then it's going to be Christ, 1890 to 1977, and Emily, 1891 to 1971, Mary, 1885 to 1944. It's going to be Carson. Oh, it's Carson's babies. Roberta, 1942. Um, not sure on the next one. 1943 and grand. Father Andrew, 1886 to 1955 on that one. <coughs> then we have Joseph Smith, 1819 to 1899, and Lois, 1824 to 1914, and Mandarin, 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 1907 to. I want to say 1993, but I wouldn't swear to it. Then we have a Fred, 1862 to 1924. We have a Ruth, 1926 to 1940. Then we have Natalie, 1865 to 1924. And Mathis, 1855 to 1924. And this is a cool stone. And I don't know that name, but it's 1841 to 1910. And Anna, it looks like August 24th, 1844. And Seth, oh, she, uh, 1900. I don't know. I'm not sure on that. You can read that and how you take it how you want to on that one, because I really can't tell. Some of them are just hard to read, guys. All right, here we have Jan. We got Zeb. Zebral, I think. I don't know what that says, to be honest with you. Somebody died in 1906. Then his wife, Mary, died in 1860 to 1940. And James, 1883 to 1955. And Christina, 1889 to 1986, I believe. Uh, Anna, the wife of H.L., born March the 6th, 1862, died November the 18th, 1896. Then we have Frank, 1884 to 1973, and Eva, 1889 to 1986. We have Porter, Janie, or Jeannie, 1881 to 1947, and Samuel, 1881 to 1947. Then we have Elton, 1903 to 1959, and Bella, 1905 to 1969, and Lucy, 1905 to 1993. Wow. Then we have Charles Bark, July 
to October 18, 1876 and Lloyd 1882 to 1884. Then we have Charles 1842 to 1895. Then we have Sarah 1848 to 1927. They got one turn one way and one turn the other. Boy, it's back and forth. Then we have this stone. And I'm not sure who it is. All, all, Ollie, or something, Oliver, or Olive, Olive, Olive. October the 3rd, 1837. She was one year and two months. The stone's from 1882. It's a pretty cool looking stone. And it's got Francis on this side. And he was 81, and it's got like a Bible on top. It's a pretty good cool looking stone, guys. And there it is. All right, here's our next one. And it's going to be, all right, here it is, their headstone, main stone, I mean. And that's going to belong to Nancy, 1834 to 1922. And I'm not sure on the name, but 1833 to 1870. And Thomas, 1859 to 1928. There you go to that headstone, right there. All right. And then we have... Whew, getting out of line again. And then this, this one goes with it, too. 1867 to 1955, and Charles. 1864 to 1924. All right. Let me go ahead and knock these out. Edwin, 1871 to 1915. And Bertha, 1870 to 1963. And we're not going to be able to read it because it's busted. Uh, this one looks like they died September the 13th, 1818 on that one to me. And this Francis died in 18, July the 8th, 8th, 1852 on that one. And let's see what we got. I think we're ready to go down again. I should be right in here. Emma, 1834 to 1936. And William, 1859 to 1932. And we're to this opening. And we ain't gonna be able to see that one. They died in 1862, but I can't tell who it is. And then we have, I don't know, it's confusing in this cemetery, bad. Uh, that's why I'm at the fourth or fifth video and we still got some to go. It's like, won't be long and I have to end this one. Wow. All right. We ain't got much more, I don't think. Maybe. One more short video after this, I hope. Because I have walked myself to death. Here we have Mother Sophia, 1865 to 1933. And this just says Mary. And that says Gustav, I think. And then here, and here. And here we have Jane, born May. 22nd, 1838, died July the 10th, 1897, and Mary Jane Reinhardt, 1864 to 1919, and I don't know that last name, but it's 1867 to 1935. All right. Sorry about the wind, guys. Here we have Charles, February the 7th, 1869 to April the 8th, 1939, and Mother... April 25th, 1871 to August 20th, 1930. We have Rose, 1889, I mean, 1898 to 1963. We have William, 1909 to 1956. Charles, his son, 1952 to 1991. And Hattie, 1915 to 1993, I think is what that says. Then we have 
baby Elmer. 1896 to 1896, and baby Bessie, 1894 to 1894. Man, it breaks your heart when you see the baby graves. Then we have the coats. We have John, 1846 to 1891, Eddie, 1848 to 1930. Then we have Damon. I think Julius, born November the 29th, 1824, died September the 15th, 1894. Kate, his wife, born May the 15th, 1833, died March 30th, 1900. And that is a big old stone. I hope I ain't showing you it's at the ground. This thing keeps moving on me. And then we have Charles, July the July through October, 1876. Leroy, 1882 to 1884. All right. Now, I think I've done now. So we're up to Elton, and 1903 to 1959. Bella, 1905 to 1967. Clayton, 1904 to 1989. Lucy, 1905 to 1993. I want to say I'm up to here. Jan something. It's Mary, his wife, 1860 to 1940, and James, 1883 to 1955, and Christina, 1889 to 1986. I want to say I'm up to this one. Right here. That it's Anna. I, I'm not sure. One died in 1844, one died in 1900, and the other one died in 1910. So I can basically tell on that stuff. That's confusing. I think I'm right in here. I don't know. Anyways, we have Mary, 1885, 1944. And I think I did do this one. Alright, guys, I got sidetracked. Hold on. I'm telling you, it's hard to tell where we're at in that cemetery. It's a hard one to, to do because I got stones sitting every which way. I think I'm right here. Michael, 18, or, yeah, Michael, 1820 to 1913. We got a James, 1865 to 1922. Anna, 1867 to 1941. Uh, let's see. We're gonna skip these right here because they're a little bit newer and I don't wanna do them. So we should be right to here. Should be Henry, 1859 to 1931, and Margaret, his wife, 1870 to 1946. Then we have a Charles, 1886 to 1952. Then we have F. Stanley, 1875 to 1957, Mary, 1880 to 1956. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. We're gonna skip over to right in here, I believe, where we should be. And that's Norvac. And I don't see any other names on there. Here's Edward, 1864 to 1945. There ain't no names on there. Oh, here they are. Joseph, 19. 100 to 1988, daughter Anne, 1912 to 1994, and mother, 1880 to 1950.
Then we have right here, 1874 to 1942, and James, 1867 to 1980, he says it's still alive. All right. Then we have Leonard, 1894 to 1959. We have Gustav. 1855 to 1919, and Clara, 1848 to 1912 on this one. Uh, then we have Eugene, 1912 to 2000, and Sylvia, 1912 to 1977. Elizabeth, October the 12th, I mean 20th, 1835 to December the 1st, 1920. And then we have John, May the 2nd, 1834 to March 9th, 1920. Then we have Joseph, 1878 to 1932. That's a neat looking stone. I like that one. I like the color of it. It's not hard to read either. All right. Then we have these. And I can't tell. Nothing on that one. And then we have Mary here. And it looks like she died something the 21st, 1861. There's our next big stone, and that's going to be them right here, but I can't see nothing on it to read them. The dates is down in the mud, so it gets us up to here. Bertha, 1879 to 1956. Then we have James, 1871 to 1939. And Anna, 1873 to 1932. Then we have Maria, 1846 to 1930. And a Henry. Henry J. Martin, born April 11th, 1811, died January 25th, 1900. Sabrina Richards, his wife, born December 12th, 1809, died August 12th, 1853. And Anna Clement, his wife, born December the 25th, 1805, died October the 5th, 1994. All right. Then we have a stone right here. And this looks like a military stone. And it is. It's going to be Don. He was a U.S. Army in Vietnam. July the 18th, 1946, to April the 4th, 2004, Silver Star and Air Medal. Wow. All right. We didn't do any of them, so it's going to be three and a half rows. Okay. I know where I'm at now. All right. Then we have Frank, 1846 to 1921, Julia, his wife, 1853 to 1934, and Sylvia, 1891 to 1895, and John, 1877 to 1901. Then we're up to here. And we have uh, Mary, 1835 to 1964, and John, 1832 to 1954. These are back and forth, guys. I keep going around in one stone and back around the other. I can't see this one. I can see from Louis or Louise, 1875 to 1936, and a Mary down at the bottom, 1870 to 1944 is all I can see on that one. Then we have a Margaret, 1899 to 1926. Then this is a neat looking stone. We have Perry, 1887. To 1969 and Margaret 1899 to 1926. Over here we have Keith 1923 to 1998 and Elsie 1925 to 2013. That is a pretty stone. I like that one. That's really nice. All right. Then we have. I'm not sure what the name, 1880 to 1921, and then Ona, 
Then we have a William, 1853 to 1912, and his wife, 1854 to 1927. Then we have this big, beautiful stone right here. And that's going to be Richard died November 25th, 1857, at the age of 42 years and 7 months. His wife died May the 20th, 1892, at the age of 67 years and 6 months. Then Mary, wife of M. Warren, died February the 3rd, 1871, at the age of 26 years and 7 months. And then Edwin, son of R.H., died August the 31st. 1848 to age one year and ten months. And then we have a George, died November the 14th. It looks like 1918 at the age of 74 years. Right there. Alright. Then we have Jesse, 1876 1937. And Natalie, 1878 to 1953. And then we have Wayland, 1845 to 1911. And Elizabeth, 1848 to 1933. Alright. And we should be up to right in here. We have Lucy, Henry's wife. August the 3rd, 1847 to October the 30th, 1910. Then we have Henry, October the 1st, 1840 to July the 16th, 1919. Then we have Sophia, 1865 to 1939, or 33, I mean. One of the two. We have Edward, 1936 to 1943. And then we have this one. And it's Thomas. He was born at something. Chosham, Chosham or something. I don't know what that says, to be honest with you. Anyways, he died November the 1st, 1892, at the age of 73 years. His wife died July the 7th, 1893, at the age of 73 years. And there it is, guys. That's a good looking stone. Right there. All right. Then we are up to right in here. And this one has rode off, guys. And I bet we won't be able to see it. Won't be able to row it either. Nope. There it is. It rode off. All right. Then we have Newton, 1873 to 1943. And Trish. 1873 to 1925. And then we'll go ahead and get these over here. Now I'll probably end up having to pull my car down. We have Dorothy, 1916 to 2007. And Russell, February the 4th, 1919 to July the 3rd, 2009. And he was in World War II. Then we have Joseph, 1883 to 1940, and Martha, 1888 to 1951. And the wind's just a whipping every day. Then we have Dean, 1854 to 1994, and Andrew, Dale, December the 13th, 1949 to July the 25th, 1994. All right, let's see where we're at. I'm going to have to end this, guys, and start do one more video. I uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, there's others. It's a series, so just let you know. I do appreciate you watching. Take the time out of your day to watch, and peace. I'm out of here.